So it's great to be out here in this beautiful day. The last time we were here, it was mostly framing, insulation that was being installed. Right now we can see that the building has been completely sheathed. The interior, all the, the drywall has been installed at gypsum, and we're starting to work on finishes. So it's a very exciting moment where you can start seeing everything coming together. And what we like to do today is talk a little bit about what it takes to create a net zero energy building. And a big part of that is having the right mechanical and engineering and plumbing systems as well as having a good solar design. I'm Derek Brain from SolarWorks Energy. We've been working with uh, Pat and Richard and uh, Lucas Architecture designing the solar array for this home. We installed LG 305 watt panels, uh, 56 of them. It's a 17.08 kilowatt system and it should generate uh, 21,000 kilowatt hours on an annual basis. In a, a typical home, you'll have uh, a utility meter and that measures all the electricity from the grid going into that home. When you have solar installed, um, the utility uh, installs a bi-directional meter uh, that measures both what is coming in from the grid and what's going out from the production of the house. So you essentially end up with a negative electric bill. The most exciting thing about this project for me, or most exciting things, are that it's really beautiful and so well designed, yeah. inside and outside, as we've been saying, and it's mechanically sophisticated. My name is Sergio Ciani, uh, design engineer for Norian Ciani Engineering, and we had the responsibility of designing the mechanical systems for this house. The design of the home uh, is clearly a unique design. And as a custom home, uh, the systems have to fit into a very well-detailed interior. And so the ducted systems are being run through architectural features and the grills and the uh, diffusers that are part of the air systems are really quite well integrated into the architecture. And so the collaboration between architect and our office um, took a, quite a bit of time. The home has been designed with a very energy efficient building shell. Infiltration levels are low and the insulation values are very high. And because the home is so tight, um, the indoor air quality is going to be quite a serious issue. So the design includes uh, a number of provisions for that fact. Collaborating with the owners on a mechanical system is not always the case. And being able to talk with Richard and uh, his wife about um, what is needed and what their hopes and aspirations really uh, were for the project at the start. And to watch that grow and evolve into <clears throat> a set of drawings and designs that really can be built uh, has been you know, an exciting process. I look forward to that day when they are out here uh, you know, trying to flip some switches and push some buttons and see what happens. We're really looking forward to being in the house. It's now a matter of weeks. When I, I'm looking forward to it being the holidays and Christmas and passing Christmas and being in a warm, yeah. Yeah. cozy little place Beautiful. in the country yeah. in the winter with snow falling down and, and the dog. <laughs> it's going to be great. <laughs>